and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I am shooting this video for my car today and I am uh, parked here with this beautiful view with the rain coming towards me and I am sorry that I couldn't upload this video sooner. I am uh, on the road at the moment and it's been difficult to find a moment to uh, to upload, to record this video as well as to upload it. So uh, today we're going to be using the Madame Andorra fortune cards, which are right here, the Madame Andorra fortune cards. And um, you can go ahead and choose between the numbers one, two and three uh, to, yeah, so you can go ahead and choose between the numbers one, two, and three. And I'm going to start shuffling the cards for the number one. And this is what the cards look like. And so we can begin with the number one. Uh, for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we are... Um, we are asking what is the monthly guidance for October? Uh, what is what is it that we need to hear in the month of October 2024? Okay, so I'm going to be shuffling off screen today because it's just easier for me and I am shooting this video on my dashboard. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. For those of you who are, um, and this just popped out, it's called the hand of fate. Forces beyond your control better intervene. Okay, so that is, um, I'm still going ahead and shuffling cards and we asking the question, what is it that we need to know for those of you who've chosen option one, that we need to know for October 2024? What is our monthly oracle card guidance? Okay, and the first card I've chosen is this. I'm just going to tilt my camera here and place this on the dashboard. And I am shuffling, asking for the next card for October for those of you who've chosen option one. And we have the third card here. So I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading for you. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the cards of the sun. Your perseverance is rewarded. We have the chimera. Imagination clouds your judgment. And we have the chalice. Rejuvenation and fulfillment. Okay. So for the months of, for the month of October, We're going to be starting off the month with a, f a degree of reward, some feeling of there being a reward, some feeling of there being a sense of having achieved something. So perhaps you were working towards something in September. Perhaps you were putting all your energy behind something in the month of September and August. And finally, you have managed to receive your reward. So I think that it could be that you, you feel that well that you have been rewarded there's something that you start the month off in October feeling happy feeling well feeling happy and feeling like you've achieved something and that makes you feel quite happy and and well just generally uh, and and there's feeling of the forces being aligned in order to be able to achieve uh, these things and so yes we began the month of October with this wonderful warm energy and with a feeling of having had a reward, something being rewarded for something that you've done, that you've actually felt like you've achieved something. Okay. But that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning of something that has to 
to unfold. And October has not yet unfolded. It's just having a feeling of having achieved something, having finished something perhaps, or having made some kind of progress. And now you have a long way still to go uh, before you can achieve what else, what you you, before you can go deeper in what it is that you that you've achieved or before you can actually use the rewards that you have to fulfill yourself in the way that you need to be fulfilled. And that is what we are looking at next as we move on. So the next card we have is the Chimera. And the Chimera is the card which I think is basically talking to us about what our October, the middle of our October is going to be like. So after the reward that you've received, you're going to find that you have made some kind of uh, progress and you've uh, arrived somewhere that you needed to arrive at, either geographically or in a space that is uh, one that you've been working towards arriving. You've come to this place, you've arrived somewhere that you've wanted to arrive, either mentally, emotionally or uh, geographically. And now it's the time in which you can choose what you do with what you've achieved. So it could be that you come to a space and you feel like you have... Um, you've been rewarded and you have have this good experience, but then you have lost the momentum that you've had or the drive that you have had uh, to continue or to be able to appreciate and to really um, go forth and explore the, the fruits of your your experience. You, It's like you have been, uh, it's like your headspace has changed or your mind space has changed and you can't quite make the, the, the transition that you need to make. So it's it almost feels like when you come into the middle of October that you you've you've achieved something but you really need to work much harder at at finding a way to maintain that and to be able to uh, explore what it is in the space that you've uh, you've come into uh, to be able to make the difference that you need to make. So the caption reads, imagination clouds your judgment. And I think that this can work, work both ways. Perhaps you've, um, you've started to imagine uh, that uh, some things are a certain way. Or perhaps you've, uh, because of your imagination, um, because you've imagined something to be a particular way, or because of your brain um, making sense of something in one particular way, um, you've, it leads you to expect something that doesn't happen or it ex leads you to expect something that is unlikely to happen or something that happens but it happens quite differently from what you expect there's also a sense here that as you um as you continue in the month of october you your imagination is actually what leads you so if you're afraid you will feel if you're afraid to start something new or to begin something new or to do something differently, if you have all these fears that crop up uh, around it, you will feel that it will, yeah, you will basically, um, it'll basically come all around you and you will, you, you will be, it's hard for me to explain myself here, but it'll kind of cloud it will cloud your judgment, as the card says. It will actually r make you feel like the some things or the negatives about a particular situation are bigger than they actually are. And whereas what you set out to do in August and September um, towards working towards what you were trying to do here in October um, is, is actually quite doable. It is within your reach. It is you are prepared for it. You are actually ready for it. And this is why you have been rewarded already um, at the beginning of the month with this feeling that you can go ahead. But then as you come in the middle of October, it's like you feel, oh, no, I can't do this because perhaps the elements are, perhaps it's too rough for you. Perhaps there's something that's too hard to do. Perhaps the environment in which you're in is too hard. Perhaps the people that you're surrounded with are not as welcoming or not as friendly. Perhaps the 
you know, you're confronted with with harsher elements, whether that be literally or in other in any other way that you can think of, perhaps emotionally or or mentally or or just with the environment that you're in. Um, and so I think that uh, come overcoming that is what's going to be your your task for October, uh, overcoming the you know whatever you are challenged with and not surrendering to it not saying oh well this is too hard I'm not going to do it I'm not going to do even though I've prepared for this and I've come all this way and I've done all the work to be able to come here and and do this I and then you know your inclination is going to be to want to give up but I think what you need to do is to fight it and to to actually go out and do it and it's not going to necessarily be easy it's not going to be comfortable Okay, but once you, but you will be, you will receive the fulfillment and the reward that you desire once you've done this, once you've walked through the mud, so to say. Okay, and so that's your the middle of the month for um for October, and then at the end of the month of October, as you come to the end of the month, you have the chalice, and the chalice is the card. It's the the caption reads rejuvenation. And fulfillment. And I think that as you come to the end of October, you're going to have achieved what it is that you've set out to achieve in August and September. You're going to have come full circle, having gone through the reward that you have to have this opportunity at all, the and the reward for having uh, prepared for this opportunity, as well as the uh, chimera here, where you have overcome your doubts uh, and your and whatever challenges you've had to walk through, to be able to overcome that and give yourself the headspace that you need to be able to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve, that you've set out to achieve. And then you have the chalice. And let me just give you an example. For instance, the sun here could, uh, I know this does not apply to, to most of you, but this is just an example to explain how it would work. Um, the sun would would represent you making the application and getting into university, Okay. And the getting into university, and so you, you know, your perseverance has been rewarded. And then your the chimera is basically talking about going through the, the lectures, going through the the hard times, having to do the assignments, having to do the dissertation, do, getting through it, and maybe thinking that you won't be able to get through it. Maybe thinking that you 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 have to drop out. Maybe thinking that you have to just give up because it's too hard. And then you have the 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 chalice here which is the card of um of having achieved it basically having uh, gotten the degree that you set out to to get and having uh achieved it having completed it successfully and that is the and the, the reward for is really at the end of october the reward is really coming to you after you've finished all of this stuff here and another um example could be that you've done all the preparation to do a, a expedition some sort of hiking expedition um to mount everest or wherever uh, and you have this you've done all the preparation and you've set off and you've arrived at the base camp and now you've got to do the base camp and you've got to climb this mountain and that is where you may think oh you know you're dying but you're not dying you may think that you are that you can't go on and that it's too hard and you you may think that it's going to be impossible and but you manage to overcome it and you manage to summit that mountain and you still have to get back but you have that rejuvenation and that endorphins and that 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 dopamine that you have from the having achieved that and the fulfillment and so that's just the way in which i'm explaining it to you now um but but obviously for each of you you're going to have a very different set of circumstances that are going to define that and all, all in all i think that october is going to be quite a fulfilling month because what it allows you to do is work on on yourself in a way that you're doing inner work yeah you're doing uh, but it's strengthening you. It's like you are strengthening your muscle from the inside. And um, you are able to achieve heights that you may not even think you were you were capable of and it's it's quite rewarding because of that. So you have set out to do it and that's the first uh, reward. The fact that you've managed to do it and you've 
you've actually allowed yourself the possibility to do it. And now you are, you've done that. And now you are, actually have to just go in and do what it is. You've got to go in and get your hands dirty. Go in and do what it takes to be successful. And you have what it takes and you just have to persevere and get it. And then you will be fulfilled at the end of it. And um, and that will be what what your reward is. So I wish you all a fabulous uh, October. For those of you who have chosen option one, it's going to be quite a ride and you are going to enjoy it, but it is going to be fulfilling at the end of it. And I wish you all a very blessed time and abundant blessings from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who have chosen the option number two, I am going to be shuffling the cards off screen today, but you can have a look at that pretty view. Yes, and we are asking... Uh, for the month of October, what is our Oracle card, card guidance? What is our Oracle card guidance for the month of October? What are the messages that we need to hear? And what is it that we need to be aware of? And what is it that we need to expect? Okay, and we have the first card, which is Earth. It says utilize logic, reason, and common sense. Okay, I'm just gonna put that down here. If you didn't watch the intro, then you know that I am actually, unfortunately, shooting this in my car today uh, because I don't have too many options right now. Uh, that's not gonna really work, is it? Let's try this. And I'm shuffling the second card. We have the spider. Be meticulous and, and patient. And we have the golem. Okay, so for those of you who have chosen the option number two, we have the earth, which is utilized logic and reason and common sense. We have the spider, be meticulous and patient. And we have the golem, a close friend acts on your behalf. So it's important as you uh, begin October to and as you move through the first 10 days of October that you be grounded and be as logical as possible um, so don't let uh, any kind of ideation fantasy uh, cloud your mind don't just be present with what is what you are certain there is and don't let anything come in the way of you um simply being in touch with your daily what it, what is required of you on a daily basis so just be grounded just uh, stick to what needs to be done and do what needs to be done and stay out of your mind and more in terms of you know the physical world like what needs to be done what has to be done what needs to be taken care of and uh try to do that in a way that allows you to uh to manage and everything in the best possible way that you can and to be able to uh, move ahead slowly so it's slowly slowly one step at a time and makes everything that you do needs to make sense it needs to take logic into account needs to take reason into account this is a really important message especially if you are uh, somebody who is um, working between the realms and you are you tend to work much on your psychic ability or uh, working with energies, etc. You need to 
take yourself a little bit away from that in this time of October, in the first 10 days of October, and focus on what needs to be done. And you might have gotten a taste of that already on the 1st of October, when unfortunately I'm only uploading this on the 2nd of October, but on the 1st of October, you would have already gotten a taste of what it means. So for the next 10 days, just be really present, be very um, focused on what needs to be done and and do what needs to be done because it is a matter of well I don't want to say it's a matter of survival but it is it feels like that it feels like you have to do whatever it takes in order to survive whatever it is that you are whatever situation that you are in okay so as you move into uh as you move into the second week of October Oh, the second 10 days of October, we have the card, the spider. It says, be meticulous and patient. And in order to be meticulous and patient, uh, you need to just be, you need to calm down. You need to be able to, to just be within yourself. You need to have faith as well. You need to be able to have faith in all that is and all that is around you and be able to think that it is all okay to uh it is all okay what you're doing it is fine the way it is it is um it's okay to let things be and to wait that's the kind of headspace that you need to be in but at the same time uh to be meticulous is to to ensure that all your bases are covered to ensure that you know if you're in a life raft that all the holes are plugged and that you're not letting water in if you are yeah and just be and just wait just be patient so the spider here is one that has a vision and knows that they are working towards something and that it, Rome cannot be built in a day that it will take time and but that it has to be done properly and it has to be done well the first time the spider is also a creature that understands that there may be interruptions caused by the outside world that you have no control over, but regardless, will continue building their web and do it so meticulously and patiently so that they can come out the other way, the other sense and the other the other side, sorry. And I think that in October, it's going to be very much a time for you to hunker down and focus on what needs to be done. And pay attention to that. It's for those of you who've chosen this option, it can be a really productive time, a time where you make huge headway in all that you're doing. And I think that uh, as long as you just stay with it and be patient and don't run away from it, that you can actually be quite successful. And uh, I, yeah, I. I think that that's really possible. Now, as you come to the end of October, we have the golem. And the card reads, a close friend acts on your behalf. And I think here, you have the sense that you you can have the support that you need in the event that you need it. Um, you can have somebody who comes to your rescue. You can actually have somebody who comes to you and says, well, this looks dangerous and what you need to do is move out of this position and and suggest to you where you could go to um it is a, a gift from the universe when this person comes into your life and and suggests something to you not that this person is in your life already or in your orbit but rather that they have come they have chosen to step forth and help you in some way and this is a great gift and you can give thanks uh, for that. Um, yes, I think also it is possible if you feel that you need help to ask a friend for that help, to ask a friend to to act on your behalf and to take action, to perhaps speak to somebody else, to do to take care of what needs to be taken care of in order to get it done, so that you can actually. Um, move towards where you need to be in order for you to start November off in good graces and with good energy. All right. So I think that for the month of October, the advice is basically to be as logical and as grounded as possible 
and to be very meticulous with everything that you're doing and to be patient with all that you have going on and to to take the assistance that comes your way take the assistance that comes your way and just work with whatever you need to work with in order to make the headway that is necessary so i think that that is your reading for the month of october i think you know sometimes i speak in a very vague way uh, but that's largely to be able to cover as many bases as possible because there's so many different people with different um, backgrounds coming to read to look at this video and I want it to apply to all of you but I think here um, it this this reading is is quite specific in that it it's telling you what you need to do in order to have a fruitful time in October um, and I think that just being grounded is very much the the message as you start with October and sticking with what it is that you've started as you move through it and then getting the help that you need in order to be successful with whatever it is that you have set yourself up out for. All right, I wish you all a very blessed October and may you have many, many, m you may you have a lot of um, success in this time and may you um, uh, feel all the blessings that come your way and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who've chosen the third option, we are using the Madame Mandora Oracle cards and we are asking what is our Oracle guidance for October 2024? So I'm going to shuffle this off screen. And you can have the view of that in the meanwhile. So once again, we're just asking, what is it that we can expect in October 2024? What is it that we need to be warned about? And what guidance can we have for October 2024? So I am just going to draw our cards. And the first card that comes up is the Oracle. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we are looking at the following cards for October. We have the Oracle, which is Seek Wisdom and Guidance from Elders. We have Water, which is Emotions are at their peak. And we have the Gryphon, which is Honor and Good Luck. So it appears as if you start October off with a nest, some degree of confusion or some degree of desperation where you feel that you need to have help or you need to have guidance as to how to go ahead, as to what to do, as to how to survive a particular situation, as to um, how to manage at all in a given environment or in a given situation. And the advice is to consult the oracle. It is to consult the wisdom that is there for you. Now, just on a side, all that wisdom is available to every single person. It's just a matter of you being able to tune into it. So it's not another person who may have a gift necessarily. They may have a gift for being able to tune in. But all that information is available to every single one of you. And so you, you have to just close your eyes and go deep within yourself and quieten your mind and not let the mind give you 
messages. If you just have to come to a stillness within yourself, you will be able to hear the messages that you need to hear. And so it's not something that you necessarily have to pay somebody to do for you. But of course, you can, um, if you can't achieve that state by yourself, and if you feel that you cannot trust that aspect of yourself, then go ahead and seek the guidance from a uh, another, uh, perhaps from an elder or from a, an oracle um, card reader or some uh, kind of psychic. As you, so the, the idea is that the wisdom is outside of you as you enter October and that you need to gain the wisdom. You need to get it from somewhere else. So go ahead and ask for assistance where you may need it and ask for help where you may need it. You don't need to do all of this alone. Okay. And then we come to water. As we're coming to the middle of October, the card is water. And it says that emotions are at their peak. So it is interesting because right now, as I upload this, we have an eclipse. And that is an eclipse which should or ought to eclipse whatever you've been going through over the last two, three weeks away. And that's when emotions would have been at their peak. So I don't know how you feel, but for a lot of my clients and friends and including myself, emotions were high at least for a day or two last week. Um, and it might have it might have felt like it had nothing to do with your original situation or your situation as it is but rather that it comes in from outside and really you know the solar flares the the moon's positioning the the planetary positioning all impacts the way in which the earth is revolving um all impacts the way we feel okay we are all connected to every single thing and so we all feel and even though emotions would have been at their high um about a week ago and for some of you at least for the last two weeks or so or even before that in August I I think that a few of you who have chosen this reading it seems will be having a moment where some of those things will come to a fore and I think how it'll work is that it will be a mirroring of what was experienced last week and this week and so in about two weeks from now you will have this rush of emotions coming up and there will be a question of how to how to cope with it and how to deal with it and what what do you have to do to calm yourself down and i think that while you are calm and while you are relaxed and you don't have that going on perhaps it's a good thing to think about what will i do when i next feel that what will i do when i next have this feeling of not being calm enough or not being um, like I can't control my emotions. What shall I do? Shall I take a few deep breaths? Shall I um, um, meditate? Shall I sleep? Shall I go to spa? Shall I go into a flirtation tank? So shall I go um, to a sauna? I don't know. You, you may have a lot of different, shall I go for a swim perhaps? Uh, there may be many different um um, ways in which you can bring or some kind of release and and calm to yourself and that would all be up to you uh, specifically but I think that what what you need to do is be able to manage those emotions in a in a manner that is um that is allowing you to come to calm even though things around you may feel like like it's chaotic. There needs to be a space within yourself where you could just escape to when you need to be calmer, and when you need to be okay with yourself. So find that space and keep it sacred for you. Um, and that could just be a space in your mind where you go to when you need to calm yourself. Or it could be a particular physical space uh, or yeah, you know, it could be a, a place as well. But I think that when these kind of peaks of emotion hit you, you're not always able to run away to a particular geographical place. So it's easier to come to a place in your mind or perhaps a, a space in your home where you can escape to. Uh, or perhaps it's an activity that you need to be doing. So if perhaps, you know, at that moment you you knit or you crochet or you or you do something else something 
something that gives you strength. Okay. Navigating October's, the middle of October's uh, emotional highs has a relation to water and water being the emotion. And I think for some of you, it might just be that you are spending a lot of time in the water as you come to the middle of October. It could be that you are uh, doing things in water and that you are um, um, ha having that soothe your what could be emotional uh, peaks. So I I find that a lot of times when people are, do, are quite emotional, the best thing to do is to wade in some water and to feel and to ask that water to cleanse you from the emotions that you may have. But enough about that in October. Let's move on. So we have the Gryphon and honor and good luck as we come to the end of October. So for all three of the options here, as you come to the end of October, it's actually going to be quite manageable. It's going to be quite quite a good time for you. And I think as you come to the end of October, there's the sense that you have gotten the guidance that you've needed. You have actually balanced those emotions emotions you have actually used those emotions to your best of your ability so they're at their peak for a particular reason and once they are um once they have reached their peak you can actually be sure that you you are able to to bring the energy up yeah you can you can use that energy and harness it so that you can get stronger all right. So as you come to the end of October, there's honor and good luck. And I think that the way opens up for you to be honored for what it is that you've done until now. Um, there's a there's an opportunity for you to be honored, to be recognized, to be acknowledged for the efforts that you've made, for the for all that you've done so that you are no longer um you are no longer, um, what is the word? Somehow you're no longer um, dependent. Sorry about that. You're no longer dependent on on others for something. You feel that honor also within yourself. So you may be acknowledged by those that are outside of you, around you, but you are also experiencing that inside of you. And there's the the message of good luck. So there are things that it's as if you are saved from a particular situation or you can have good luck in terms of the weather or you can have good luck in terms of avoiding a, an accident or avoiding a situation which could have led to an accident. Um, you have the luck that you need in order to bring you into November in a way that is... Um, yeah, you walk into November with quite a good feeling, with a feeling of honor and good luck. And I think that that is all that one needs, actually, to be able to start a new month. I think also that there's a sense of having conquered something um, in October as you enter uh, November. And I, yeah, it looks and feels like a really good time. So I uh, will leave it there and I wish you all a very blessed October. Um, may you have all that you need in this month and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. <laughs>